Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just see your word. Do not read reversals in tarot. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just see your word. So let's see. Spirit. How does this person feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about Capricorn? Cards wanting to come out there. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Wands. So you're getting four four here. There's someone here, Capricorn, who wants to turn things around. They they feel like you've abandoned the situation, like maybe you're not interested in it anymore, like you're just not giving it the time, the day, the energy that you used to. They see you as, um, yeah, like you're just not speaking to this person. Um, they've also pulled back their energy, but I feel like they're waiting for the right time to actually let you know that they want some sort of commitment here. They want something here with you. Um, tell me about the Four of Swords, Three of Cups, Five of Swords. So now you're getting Five, Five, and you're also getting Three, Four, Five. So Four, Four, Five, Five, Three, Four, Five. So lots of synchronicities coming out here. Huh. Tell me about this Five of Swords, Three of Wands. Now you're getting Three, Three. There's someone here, Capricorn, who doesn't want to mess up. Like, it's like they're thinking about what they want to say before they actually say it because there's just this energy here with this Five of Swords of, like, they, they tend to self-sabotage. They tend to let a good thing go. So this could be someone who's pulled back their energy from you. Um, like I said, they, they see you as abandoning the situation. So they're like, okay, you're going to abandon the situation. I'm going to abandon the situation, right? It's like winning at all costs here with this five of swords. So this could be someone who you might see is, is out having fun, having a good time with their friends or whoever, and they don't really seem bothered by the situation, but in reality, they're thinking about this a lot. And if you look at this three of wands, this three of wands is looking over to the three of wands, right? So it's, sorry, the three of wands is looking over to the four of wands. So they're thinking about their future and they're thinking about actually having some sort of commitment here with you, having something change here with you, wanting something more stable. Cause I feel like it's been a little bit rocky between the two of you, whatever this is. So if there's no one in your life just yet, Capricorn, and you're like, I have no idea who this could be. There could be someone coming in who sort of feels like you're distant. So they pull back their distance. Sorry. They, I can't even get my words out. So I'm saying this person could feel like they need to really think about what they need to say before they say it because they could, they feel like they're going to mess up in some way, but I am getting this sort of like tit for tat energy. Like they feel like you've pulled back. So now they're going to pull back again. They might even be like distracting themselves here a little bit with like having fun, doing whatever looks like they're having a great time, especially if you can see that, but they're waiting for the right time to come forward here is what I'm getting. So they're definitely thinking about you. If you find yourself randomly thinking about this person, it's because you are on their mind here, Capricorn. Remember, we are energetic beings, so you're connected energetically with this person. Um, tell me more about the Five of Swords. Jeez. Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands. <laughs> this person's stressed out. 
it's like they're stressed out you're not speaking they're stressed out you don't care they're stressed out you're not giving any energy to this connection so they're kind of running around like again sort of with that three of cups like putting their energy into other it's like distracting themselves they're distracting themselves here I feel like this is someone who likes to play games with you they want you to chase them Capricorn this is someone who is used to being chased and so I feel like the fact that you're not is stressing them out it's making them do the same thing back to you but they're also like wanting something more here with you we're gonna see their actions and their intentions but this person is like they're playing games they're, they're playing games here with the five of swords so again, look out for three, three, four, four, five, five, three, four, five. These are all synchronicities that are showing up right away. So whenever synchronicities show up in my readings, Capricorn, it's always a sure indicator that this person is meant to be in your life. They're supposed to be in your life for some reason, maybe for a short time, maybe for a long time. But hopefully there's some deep lessons being learned here by yourself and by, and by them. Um... But yeah, they're, I feel like they're they're doing this on purpose. I feel like they're, they might come in super like hot too when they do talk to you and then they pull back, right? If they, if they get a sense that you're not as invested, even if you are, but you're just sort of taking it slower or whatever, this person jumps to conclusions is what I'm getting. And then they, they do things out, like to have the last word, but they're stressed out doing this. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's a little bit of air here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let, let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take? We do have the Magician, Gemini energy. We have the Page of Wands. Definitely going to get a message from this person. I feel like they're trying to figure out the best way to message you. Oof, Two of Cups. This is my soulmate card, Capricorn. This person wants union here with you. So soulmates are those people you just feel drawn to, right? Even if it is someone that you're like, I can see that they're playing games or they're, but there's just something about them I can't quite peg. There's a deeper soul lesson always to be learned with soulmates, right? There's like going to be like a sense of familiarity, like you've already met them before. Um, so again, if you haven't met someone just yet, there's definitely a soulmate coming in here. Expect a message. They could be younger than you. They don't have to be. It's going to be some sort of flirty message here. This person finds you really attractive. They're trying to figure out the best way to sort of like get you, get your attention, get you to pay attention to them. Um, they're not used to chasing is what I just keep getting here, Capricorn. This person's not used to chasing people. Um, so, but you're very intriguing to them. And, they, and again, the soulmate energy is mutual. So you feel this pull towards this person. This person feels it towards you. Um, so definitely expect a message here. It could be like a sliding into your DMs or something like that. Tell me about the page of wands. Tell me about the page of wands. The six of cups wanted to come out. We will see. Tell me about the page of wands, please. Oh my gosh. All these cards wanted to come out. Page of wands, please, spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. This person is like planting the seeds now, saying the things now to like make sure that you are invested in them. Like I just keep getting like they're good. I feel like they're going to be really flirty. They're going to compliment you a lot. Um, they're doing what they always do, which is getting someone interested in them. And then they might be this like player energy. We're going to see their intentions. They might be in this like player like energy where they're like really hot and heavy and then they pull back. Right? It's sort of a game for them where they like they like when people chase them. But I feel like you're different, Capricorn. And so they uh it's like stressing them out. And I feel like normally this person would just be like, okay, whatever, like that person's not interested in me, fine. There's five other people that are. But because they feel this pull towards you and this soulmate energy towards you, they it stresses them out that you're not doing what they want you to do. So we have to remember with the magician, this is someone who's very powerful. They use all their tool, like all their tools, right? We have the pentacles, the cups, the wands, the swords, all on the, the magician's table. So they might say the right things. They come off very like sensual. They could be very, you know, tap into your emotions there. They could 
offer a gift of some sort, right? Like they're using all the tools, but the magician can be manipulative, right? It can be like a, um, a means to an end kind of thing. I feel like this person is just really drawn to you. Tell me about the two of cups. They're just like very, very drawn to you here. Um, two of pentacles, now you're getting two, two. So you literally have twos, threes, fours, and fives all lining up here. And then we have the hermit. It's so interesting. It's like this person wants union with you. They just want to embrace the connection. They just want to be with you. And then the other side of them is like, I'm going to ghost. I need to think about this. I need to pull back my energy, right? Um, they can feel that this is something deeper with that hermit and that two of cups. The hermit is all about like spiritual wisdom, digging deeper, soul searching, right? They can feel it. There's something different about this. It's not, you know, it's not just that they're attracted to you physically. We can't explain soul connections. We just feel them, right? Some things you just can't put into words. And so this person, even though they might not be, you know, watching tarot or, or say you are their soulmate, they're feeling it. Um, so expect this person to reach out. I feel like they're going to say all the right things, but... And they do it with the intention of like, oh, I'm going to get Capricorn hooked. But then it's like, but wait a second, I'm hooked. <laughs> wait a second. Right? Like that's the difference this time is that they haven't felt that strong pull before. So we have Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. But expect them to, to reach out. So if there's no one here yet, Capricorn, expect someone to message you. It could just be like, you know, sometimes you'll get random messages on social media and you're like, who is this person? It could, it could literally be that. Um, with the three of cups, it could be a friend of a friend, right? Someone you kind of just know through passing, uh, but you're going to feel it. Soulmates, you just, you can feel it right away. Um, they're asking me to remember that too. Sometimes with a soulmate at first, when you first meet them, they can kind of give you like like a cringy vibe or like the ick, right? I know people, that's how people describe it, like that, uh, like, no, thank you. Only just like sort of get to know them better. You know those like scenes in movies where two characters meet and they like don't like each other and they're like, oh, like, no, get away from me or whatever. I'm trying to like go about my business, do my thing, whatever. And then as the movie progresses, it's like they actually start to fall for each other or they realize they're best friends or whatever. It's like that. Um, I can't remember like a specific movie right now. Oh, look at that. Wow. Capricorn, look at this. I did not even notice that Judgment was flipped over in the deck like this. So Judgment is the card of second chances. So this could be someone coming in for another chance. If you know who this could be, someone from your past. Um, but if there's nobody from your past that's coming to mind, and I always say, um, if you came to someone, came to this reading with someone on your mind or throughout the reading, something stands out to you, you're like, it has to be this person. That's probably who it is. I see a lot of messages or sorry, a lot of comments saying they messaged me while I was watching the reading or they called or right after or whatever it might be. Um, just use your intuition, use your discernment. But yeah, there's definitely someone here who wants a chance, maybe a second chance if this is someone from your past here. Um, but let's see their intentions because this person is interesting to me. What, what is this person's intentions with Capricorn? Please, sir. What is this person's intentions? Thank you. Wow. The Ten of Cups, Capricorn. The Hanged Man, Pisces energy. The Fool, Aries energy. This person wants this chance with you. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Look at all these majors coming out as well. And the Page of Wands. Again. A flirty message coming in. They want, they're interested. They're curious about you. They want to take this chance, this leap of faith. They want to just go for it here. You're changing their perspective. It's interesting with this temperance card because this person actually does want to, like they're, they intend to actually get to know you with this temperance. They want to get to know you. They want to take their time with this. They want to like see where this could actually go. This person envisions happily ever after here with you. I don't think they're going to tell you that because this person feels a little bit guarded to me. And like I said, if they feel like you're not invested, they'll pull back their, they're not the type of person where if they're like, if they're just interested, they won't be like, Hey, I'm, excuse me. See how I can't even say it. <laughs> hey, I'm interested um are you they they don't do that they they sort of read all the signs they're like this is what i'm assuming this is my conclusion so i'm gonna pull back too 
right? But this person does want, I'm going to pull on that, but you're changing this person's perspective on like what they actually want. Cause I feel like to be honest here, Capricorn, this person's kind of been happily, uh, doing their own thing, going in, you know, coming in and out, not really settling anywhere, but I feel like you changed their mind on that. Um, but this is risky for them. This is taking a big chance to kind of go for it. But they, they want to get to know you. They're curious about you here. They're also very attracted to you, Capricorn. Like, very attracted to you. I think that's what, like, initially sparks it. Like, ooh, like, look at how attractive Capricorn is. And so their initial plan is, I'm going to do what I usually do. Say the things I usually do to get them, like, interested in me. I'll see how it goes. If I if I want to, I'll go there. If not, I'll, I'll see you later. But that plan doesn't work because they actually can feel this pull towards you, right? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What is this Ten of Cups? Oh my gosh. The Lovers and the Four of Pentacles. Capricorn, this person's in love with you. They might, they're not gonna, I don't think they're gonna say it. We'll see the potential outcome. But this person is in love with you. They just, there's something deeper here. You got the two of cups and the lovers and the hermit there. They can feel this deeper pull towards you. There's something, this is not an everyday connection. This is like for some people once in a lifetime, right? They do not want to let this go here. This person is like, as much as their sort of ego can get in the way of, okay, I'm going to have the last word. I feel like at the end of the, the day, they're like, I can't let this go. Like, I'm not going to let Capricorn slip through my fingers here. Right? This is what they intend. They intend to kind of embrace this, embrace this new way of being, new way of thinking, take this chance, go for it. But we'll see the potential. I mean, energy is fluid. It's always changing, right? So we'll see the potential, but um, it could change. What is the potential outcome between Capricorn and this person? The five of wands. <laughs> I'm laughing not because it's funny, but I just feel like this person can't just like, it's like they're trying to fight it. And there's that six of cups. We got the sun at the bottom. There's that six of cups. So this is definitely someone from your past here, Capricorn. This is someone you have history with. And again, I always want to acknowledge this, that for those of you who are like, there's no one, there's no X, there's no way, absolutely not. I mean, you know your journey best. There is an ace here, which represents new. The Six of Cups can also represent someone from a past life, right? So it just, again, with that Two of Cups, the lovers, the Six of Cups, it's like you just, there's something different here. There's something that's pulling you and this person together. Um, there's a sense of familiarity. There's a sense of like, you feel like you already know each other. There's not really that like awkward, like getting to know each other. Yes, you're getting to know each other, but it doesn't feel weird. It just feels like you've, feels like you've already known each other. It feels comfortable. This person is trying to fight it. It's almost like they're trying to fight. This might be you too, trying to fight how you feel. But at the end of the day, the two of you enjoy each other's company. It's like you two kind of get lost in your own world here. There is a lot of love here with that Ace of Cups. It's like the opportunity for a new beginning here. So this person might just be embracing it. It might be this person who's really resistant to um, their, you know, I feel like they're, they're, they're like enjoying their ways. Like I said, not really settling down. They might be like happily single not really looking for anything serious and then you come along and it's like whoa they can feel this pull right so they might be kind of trying to fight it here but the five of wands can also represent like there's a sense of competition so the lovers is called the choice or it used to be called the choice sorry so there could be i'm going to pull on this five of wands um tell me about the five of wands the magician <laughs> do you know what i just heard i just heard this is not what i planned this is not what i thought Look at that, the Hierophant at the bottom, but then the Seven of Cups underneath that, like feeling overwhelmed, confusion. It's like, it's like, like I said, this person came in with a pretty, pretty strict plan for themselves, which usually works. I have to be honest with you. They're usually good at getting exactly what they want or like getting people to say and do exactly what they want. This was not how they thought it was going to turn out. So I feel like they're trying to fight it. It's, it's almost like this is what the universe is giving them because this is what they need right? They need this soulmate connection to realize like there's something deeper than just sort of coming and going in connections and like, you know, just that lust. There can be something more meaningful here. And this person's almost like trying to fight it. They're like, this was not the plan. I was just trying to flirt or I was just trying to hook up or I was just trying to, but they can't, they can't fight the, this feeling. They really can't. 
Tell me about the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. Thank you. Look at that. The High Priestess, Pisces Energy, Page of Cups. I'm telling you, this it's like their intuition is telling them this is deeper. This is deep. I have to I have to remain curious. I have to, the pages are the students of the deck, right? The the ones who are exploring, who the ones who realize I have so much to learn, right? This is a new experience. But again, with that high priestess, this is your intuition. This is the the spiritual aspect of things. And that was really coming through with that hermit energy as well. Just feeling like this, there's something here. This is not a typical connection, right? So it's like they're trying to fight that, but they can't. This also, again, might be you, Capricorn, like trying to fight this feeling with this person, but you can't help it, right? So, um, yeah, it looks like there's a reunion here if this is someone from your past, right? Um, it strongly feels like you already have history with this person. So that could be in this lifetime, like I said, and history could be from, uh, you know, last summer. History could be from when you were, you know, uh, teenagers, right? So take it as it resonates. Um, and anything in between, obviously, but it, it strongly feels like you've already had life with this person. So whether that's in this lifetime or a past life, but it's, it feels strong. It feels like um, you two have done this before. How will uh, Capricorn know who this is? The Seven of Wands could have been someone you blocked, especially this is someone from your past, someone that you feel can be defensive at times. We got the five of swords, someone that you feel like plays games, right? Plays mind games, has to win at all costs. Three of pentacles, could be a work situation, doesn't have to be. Could be like that coworker that like, it's like a love-hate relationship, but at the end of the day, you're kind of like, but I kind of really like, maybe I have feelings for this person. Could be that. This person self-sabotages though right? Like they keep people at a distance because they don't want to get too close, but they can't fight this with you here, Capricorn. Um, anything else for who this is? Thank you. The moon, Pisces energy. There's a lot more to this person than the surface, than, than meets the eye, right? Um, I always say with the moon card, especially this one, I always see it as like an iceberg. So like you see the tip of the iceberg, which this person shows you, but underneath there's so much more, right? So I feel like there's, this person's actually a lot deeper. Um, they might actually be very spiritual themselves. This is not something that they sort of portray on the daily though. It's not how they present. So you wouldn't know this about this person, but you might get a sense with them that they're, like they might say something sometimes and you're like, I feel like this person actually is like more in tune with the universe and things than they let on. But then they kind of have this like persona that they present to the world. Um, any advice for Capricorn? King of Swords, Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Um, have, how do I put this? I feel like this person gives you attention too, right? Like they, like they kind of, even though they're wanting you to chase them, they kind of chase you a little bit. Cause like I said, they can't really stay away from you. Um, I feel like just be aware of what that means to you, right? Like if you're like, this person's attention feels good. It's like validation or like reassurance or whatever. Um, but they're just, you know, they're just a friend. Like it's nothing more than that. I feel like if you, if it's deeper, cause the potential here tells me it's deeper, right? Their feelings is deeper. Acknowledge that. I feel like embrace that because I feel like Capricorn, you're kind of in this space where you, you kind of keep people at a distance too. Um, sort of like trying to see everything from a logical standpoint of like, instead of emotionally. Tell me about the King of Swords. Death, rebirth. Yeah. Scorpio energy. Like there's nothing wrong with, oh, and I see the Empress at the bottom. There's nothing wrong with analyzing a situation from a logical perspective right um but i do feel like especially with this empress coming at the bottom there's this sort of push to embrace and like be open to receive right because if we're kind of like in this mindset of like how do i put this no one no one's good enough or like you know uh, I'm not looking for anything. I'm going to close myself off completely. Like there could be an opportunity right in front of you, right? Even if this person kind of annoys you a little bit at first, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. I just feel like you, you guys kind of like, 
annoy each other a little bit, but there's like this deeper bond here that you both feel. Um, yeah. Hmm. Let's see what comes out here for you, uh, Capricorn. Oh, okay. We got the dragon, <laughs> dragonfly, lighthearted and adapt, finding out and change, things coming to light and heal. And you got soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. I'm telling you, Capricorn, this person's meant to be in your life, right? I feel like it's really up to you. You get to decide what role they're going to play in your life, but this is definitely a soulmate. This is definitely a deep connection here. Um, you're meant to meet this person. Let's see if there's any hidden messages from this person for you, Capricorn. Any hidden messages for Capricorn from this person, please, Spirit? Thank you. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. So especially if this is someone you have history with, right? Like I said, it's like they felt you pulling away or they assumed you were pulling away or, or not putting in. So then they did. Instead of being like, hey, what's going on? Or like, I have these feelings. Do you have these feelings? Like, they just like, oh, you're going to do that? I'm going to do that. Like, like I said, that kind of like tit for tat energy here. Um, I'm seeing I want to feel that way again on the bottom. And then my mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. So we'll see what else comes out here. But yeah, they knew they were losing you and they didn't do anything. Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions. I won't admit it. Again, this person really tries to uh, hide what's going on. There are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. So this person could have like some deep rooted anger stuff going on. I don't think that has anything to do with you here, Capricorn, but some people, they're so afraid to let certain emotions out like anger that they just hide all their emotions. Cause it's like, I gotta keep them all packed up tightly away because if the anger slips, it's going to be bad. So instead of showing anything, it's like, let me just show nothing. Um, I'm finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. So this person could feel unworthy of you in some way here, Capricorn. Um, I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. You see, this person wants you to chase them. I pushed you away because I do not want the responsibility. So this person could have actively pushed you away. Right. Um, but I'm also getting this at like, as soon as I read that card, they could, it's like they knew what they lost as soon as they did that. And then look at this. No one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you this person. I mean, the potential looks like they're going to say something finally, like they are going to open up, but this person is like hell bent on like Capricorn. I'm not going to be vulnerable with Capricorn, especially if Capricorn's not going to be vulnerable with me. Like, hell no. Like, they're like really, yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping secrets from you and I hope you don't find out. Um, I am seeing I bury myself in work to forget you. They said one more and then I will pull a card on the keeping secrets. We are living two separate lives. So you could know that this person is, you know, living some sort of separate life completely but they still have all these feelings for you they try to fight them but they can't what is i am keeping secrets from you four of cups what is i am keeping secrets from you please spirit the empress the king of pentacles there could be some other and i see the lovers again at the bottom like i said the lovers used to be called the choice there could be some feminine energy in their life, whether it is an actual mother, a sister, maybe it's someone they have children with, um, that they might be tied to financially or something like that. They might even be living with this person. So especially if this is someone from your distant past and you don't know, like, you know, are they married? Are they with someone? You have no idea. And then all of a sudden they just kind of come back and message you. Um, they could be hiding that there's some other situation here going on. Anything else about that Empress King of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles, yeah. There's definitely another energy here. Could be a work thing um, that this person is involved with, like a, a business partner that they're actually like involved with in some way or something like that. Tell me about the Empress. I'm just trying to like understand Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's something, they're defensive about it. They're not going to open up about it. It's a secret for a reason, but I feel like you kind of have an inkling. Um... Yeah, it definitely could be a third energy here, though, Capricorn. So only take that if you feel like it resonates. If you're like, this person, there's no way this person has someone else, then don't take that. Um, we have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. 
So envy can be a really difficult thing to experience, right? Um, I'm just getting that for some of you, that third energy could be envious of you in some way if they know who you are. Only take that if it resonates. We have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So especially if you've already had an ending with this person, right? Um, mm -hmm. I have to acknowledge it. For some of you, this could be that there's ending with this person and then a new beginning happens right after. Now I need to pull on that. Tell me about that Ace of Cups. King of Wands, yeah, it could be, it could be someone else here. I know this is kind of going sideways now, but for some of you, it could be ending with this player-like energy. You're like, even though we have this strong bond, but we fight all the time, we have history together, there could be something new coming in here, Capricorn, with the King of Wands. Someone who's much more mature, someone who's very confident, very sure of themselves. Um, I have to acknowledge it. I don't like going backwards like that, but it's happening for a reason. Um, and then I see regret. I know that I cannot change the past, right? And I see all of this red and yellow and orange energy here. It could be representing the like fiery passion that you have with this first person. Um, but I feel like something more mature could be coming in here. And I know people are going to be like, tell me more about it. So I'm going to pull a few more cards. I'm kind of curious too. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles could be a work situation here. Um, Capricorn, someone that you work with. Um, and then we got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of divine match here. Just so you might have the choice too here, Capricorn. The both of you might be dealing with other people, but you, but you two have this very strong bond. There's a very, um, there's someone here that you have this very, um, you just, I, you're very passionate about the same things. I feel like you're both... Um, you find each other very attractive. I feel like you could be both very well liked or very social. It could be a work situation here with that eight of pentacles. Um, it's a divine match here. So you could even have the choice between the past and this new person. It strongly feels like that. Let me see if there's anything, anything else about that king and queen of wands. Look at that, the knight of cups. Yeah, there's someone else here. So this could be you keeping secrets, Capricorn. If you're like, there's no way this other person is, there could be a choice coming in for you. And if you're sitting there like, there's not even one person, how is there gonna be two? Things can change very quickly, right? So there's definitely some romance here. There's some dating going on with someone who feels like a very, like a divine match here. And I feel like it could be related to work in some way. Anything else about that King and Queen of Wands? Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles, confusion, right? There's options here. Also like giving to multiple situations here. So you might be the one who's dating Capricorn. You're like, yeah, I'm dating like multiple people. I'm trying to figure out who I like or who I want to settle down with. This soulmate comes in, very strong connection. But then there's also someone here you have a very um, strong pull to as well. And you might feel confused. You might feel overwhelmed by the choice here. Because um, then your last card here is honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So be, just being true to yourself, right? About what you truly want here and what, and even now, thank you, Spirit. As I'm coming back to your advice, which was the King of Swords and death, like being honest about if this first situation needs to come to an end, right? Because endings are beginnings, just like the death card says here. So it could be that needing to end it with this kind of, layer like energy to have something new here but for some of you it could be a new energy like with this first person right I see that all the time like could this be the past with new energy yeah absolutely but I still feel like you're gonna have a choice here um to make so the choice is yours Capricorn look at that big happy changes I love that Capricorn you deserve that big happy changes and then we have listen to your intuition. No matter how many readings you might listen to, or if you pull cards on yourself, or you ask friends, or you ask family, or whoever, Capricorn, at the end of the day, only you know what's best for you. There's no wrong decisions. This is your journey. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. So if it's pulling you towards this first person, and you want a new beginning, I see that there's potential for a new beginning with this person. 
right? I do feel like you're going to have a choice though. Um, just listen to your gut. We have luck is on your side, Sagittarius energy. And we have show the world the real you, Aquarius energy. And expect powerful change at the bottom. So just be your authentic self here, Capricorn. I feel like you naturally attract a lot of energies to you. You're just very warm. You're very inviting. You're very, I feel like a lot of people find you very attractive. Um, you just have this sort of like magnetic energy that people like to be around. So you're going to have options. You will. And just be yourself. Whoa, that one just flew. We got come to the edge. They said read both. I wish the camera could, could catch it, but that one just like flew right by me. They said read both. So that, to me, that means I'm going to read the upright message and the protection message. Um, this deck, um, I do read the reversals for this deck. So let's see. Oh, and I opened to it right away. So it says courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear and accepting risk. So we have, it's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, and say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. So, strong message there. And then the protection message says, Fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion, stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. Now is a time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. False evidence appearing real or fear is hovering over you. The more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. Ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you. Ask, is this true and real right now? The answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. In spite of fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit will always catch you. So again, that was kind of coming through with your advice of like keeping people at a distance as well, right, Capricorn? So you kind of like, it's like in asking you to open up, right? To be open to receiving here. Um, and it's scary, right? It acknowledges that. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone. I do feel like you have a very strong connection with this first person. There could be a choice here too. Um, but I also feel like if there's, if there's not a choice here, it could just be confusion around this connection. Do I go for it? Can I trust them? Can I not? Can I open up? I mean, the two of you do connect on a lot of levels here and there's, there's this pull that you have towards each other that I feel like you're both trying to fight, <laughs> which is interesting. So let's see. Um, these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates or um, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have G, U, Y, L, the number one, the number four, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Capricorn, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energies. Sending you so much love and light.